Hello again everybody. I had such fun making my last video that I thought I'd let's better make another. So yes, let's hear it. Um, just before we get into it, um, you oh, may notice that uh, the draw distance has been substantially improved and Every my water time. looks stunning. That's because I'm using all of the functions this time of the Moron Graphics Extender. XE Edition or something like that. Anyway, makes the game look a lot prettier while obviously staying true to the original vanilla essence, which is something I really like. So, yeah, if you're interested, you should really download that. Makes it look a lot prettier. Okay, so, first thing we're going to do is head to Balmora. And while we're doing that, I'm going to explain exactly what we're going to do. What we are aiming for this time is we're going to create a ring with the power to unlock any lock. Now this isn't including traps and things like we that. make a special trip just for you. Ah, oh, look at those mountains. No Didn't get that before. That is stunning. Okay. So we're going to make this ring, right? Now to do that, first thing we're going to do is go to the Mages Guild and to the top floor here. We're going to pay a visit to a Hurry lovely this girl. Up, will you? Good girl, there. Okay. Now, you'll see on her table, there is a quest you can do when she leaves, and then you can steal her soul gems. However, I'm not going to do that. Ain't nobody got time for that. What we want is, be prepared for this, this soul gem here, worth 60k. Why the soul gem? Uh, because it's really good and it's easily accessible. Now, this is where it comes in handy to have selected the shadow as your sign. Because now what we're going to do is ready our magic, cast invisibility, and just steal this. Boom! Now you will notice of course that as I actually activate something, the invisibility wears off. And that is completely fine. Because we have the soul gem. Who cares? Okay. So now we have the soul gem to create this enchantment that we're going to do. We're also going to need something to enchant. So let's go to the clothier. You may be wondering why since last time my character is now decked out in armor, has a pretty fancy kind of weapon, and can now do stuff like that. Because basically what I did is I used the console and hacked my character up a bit. Um, personally, when I play these games, I do not cheat at all. However, for the sake of demonstration and whatnot, I'm happy just to make a character and do that. So, yeah. Okay, so Clothier, Barter. Now, usually they have some kind of good ring. Let's take, there we go, an exquisite ring. Fantastic. And believe it or not, yes, I'm actually going to buy that. <laughs> it's the first thing I've bought in this entire game. Okay. Now, let's just clarify something here. In order to do this, you're going to need money you're going to need a fairly substantial amount of money. More some money than what came in my first tutorial about getting money. This is going to end up costing you in the vicinity of 30 to 40k, uh, depending on your own enchantment level. If you want to give it a go, do give it a go, but yeah, you'll probably end up breaking a ring. So what we're going to do is we're going to head to an enchanter. Now, this up, will you? let's just clarify something. We're not going to use you, because as soon as I use you to enchant something and I give you back your soul gem, <laughs> you're going to get pretty pissy at me. So, what we're going to do is go to the one in Eldrun. Because, one, I like Eldrun, and two, you're obviously going to need a spell to enchant this ring with. And it just so happens that this lovely chap up here has the exact spell you want. You want Onduce's Open Door. Buy that. Buy that spell. Okay. Now we've done that, you want to run down here, and in through this door here, there is a lovely enchanter. My Hello. time is precious, so make it quick. I'll try. Okay. Quick save, just because that's what I do. Okay. Now, we should at this point have everything we need. So, we pick our item, 
we want to enchant this ring. Now, just to clarify, you see the enchantment here, just a quick tutorial on enchanting in Morrowind, you have these points, basically, and the enchantment points is the amount that you can enchant something with. From Oblivion, I believe, and Skyrim onwards, you can just enchant anything with whatever you want. Morrowind, that's not how it works. The quality of the object you are trying to enchant actually determines what enchantment you can put on, how good the enchantment is. Like for example, if you had a really crappy ring or a really tatty kind of shirt, you couldn't enchant what we are about to enchant onto it. You need something decent. It requires a lot more forethought in this and I actually like that a lot more. So we have a ring and we want to be able to open stuff with it. Now, we want, you could do target, but it just makes things more expensive. <laughs> um, you, yeah, I would go on touch. You want the magnitude of 100 to 100. You don't want to, you, yeah, you want to get this 100% of the time, every time. You want this to break open any lock. And area zero, that's fine. You don't need to unlock every lock in a radius. No, you could do that, if you're interested. Okay. And you can see now that we want to leave that as cast when used. Um, you can get constant effects in this. However, you need an incredibly good soul gem. And you need enchantments, obviously, that you can use constantly. It's actually very difficult to be able to make constant effect enchantments in Morrowind. Which I think is actually a bit fairer. And then we just want to add the soul. Which is our Wing Twilight Grand Soul Gem. So you see with that, each cut, each, sorry. Each cast is going to cost us 31 points, and we have 300 charge. So we're going to get, say, not quite 10, you're going to get 9. 9 shots out of this single ring. And of course, you can recharge this yourself. So what we want to do now is give the ring a name. Let's give the ring uh, a unique kind of name like, I don't know, um, Paul. And there. We have done it. <laughs> Paul. Okay. So if we click on Paul to activate that spell, it now becomes an active spell courtesy of enchantments. I understand this is probably this is a lot more complicated than it is in um, Oblivion and Skyrim. However, it's definitely better. And there we go. This ring will open anything. I believe in Morrowind there's no such things which say you actually require the key to open this. I if there must is be going, oh. so if you could make it quick. What terrible, terrible weather. My goodness. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's go unlock something while we're here. Just to prove a point. Let's travel to Yeah, let's go to Belmore. Where would you like to go? Um that person's house. Okay, over this way, because there is a house along here, which is locked, if you know your way around here very well. It's about a 60, I think. <laughs> oh no, that's 30. The 61 is up here, I believe. Give me a second. I need to prove myself right. Oh, it's 40. What a shame. Okay, anyway. Now you see, because our ring is set to 100 of 100 every single time, all we need to do, and just make sure nobody's seeing us. Nah, we should be good anyway. And just cast it on the door. Boom. We are in. This ring and its enchantment will be saving grace in so many different things. I can't stress how important that it is to be able to get into absolutely anything. It'll also save you, well, <laughs> I say save you, it will, um... Decrease the amount that you spend in lockpicks quite substantially. <laughs> However, you have to spend like 32k to actually get this ring. However, if you have the money, this is so worth it. And what I recommend doing is actually getting the money specifically so you have this. Because that way you know that if you're stuck somewhere, you need to get inside a chest or whatever. You have this at work every time without fail. So, if you enjoyed this tutorial as much as hopefully you enjoyed my other ones, please do comment rate, subscribe, all that good stuff, and let me know what you think.
I'd love to hear if you have any better alternatives as to how to do this and if you have any suggestions for another tutorial. Any questions, please do ask. Have a splendid day and yep. That's all. So go give it a try now. Bye.